Hi everybody, welcome to the weekend edition of The Daily Dose. My name is Lauren and I'm part of the visitor engagement team here at the Calgary Zoo. Today I'm down at the grizzly bear habitat with our two resident grizzly bears, Skokie and Kootsie Mateen. It's a really exciting time of year here at the grizzly habitat because the bears are starting to wake up from their winter sleep. Today on our weekend daily dose, we're gonna talk a little bit about each bear as well as what they've been doing over the winter. I mentioned we have two grizzlies here at the Calgary Zoo. Skokie is our adult male and he is at least 32 years old. He came to the Calgary Zoo in 1996 as part of a partnership with Parks Canada to rescue him from the wild. Skokie was what we call a habituated bear which means he had gotten too comfortable with humans and he'd had a couple too many encounters with people in the Lake Louise area of our Rocky Mountains. Now, unfortunately for habituated bears, they only have a couple of options if they are showing signs that they're not afraid or they're too comfortable with people. So the decision was made to bring Skokie into our care because he wasn't able to be in the Rocky Mountains anymore. And he's been living here at the Calgary Zoo since 1996. The other bear, Kutsi Mateen, is 30 years old. And she was actually born here at the Calgary Zoo. These two live behind me. You can tell them apart based on their size once they get up and moving around. Skokie, being an adult male, is larger, uh, as well as he is a Rocky Mountain Grizzly. So he stands a little bit taller. He has a darker coat than Kutsi Mateen, who is a barren grounds grizzly, which live at lower latitudes. So she's a little bit smaller, as well as being a female. In the winter time, they are asleep. Now, a lot of people think bears hibernate. Have you ever heard the word hibernation? Hibernation is a really interesting idea. It's when an animal can slow down their metabolism to the point when they can't wake up uh, very easily, especially when it's really cold outside. So lots of animals hibernate to conserve energy throughout the cold winter months when there isn't any food. But here's the cool thing. Bears don't truly hibernate. Bears go into something called torpor, which is more like a winter snooze or a sleep. Their body temperature drops a little bit between three to five degrees Celsius, uh, but not as strong as a true hibernator like a prairie dog or a Vancouver Island marmot. Some true hibernators can drop their body temperatures up to 30 degrees and nothing you do will wake up a true hibernator. You could poke them, but they're not going to wake up because their body metabolism has slowed down. The only thing that will wake up a true hibernator is that spring period of time. But bears can actually wake up uh, periodically throughout the winter. So sometimes on nice, warm, sunny days here at the Calgary Zoo, we'll see our black bears, Tesla and Orson and Manuka, or Kutsi Mateen, wake up, go for a wander, have a pee, and then go back to bed. The cool thing about Skokie though, I like to think of Skokie as the Calgary Zoo's personal ground bear because Skokie actually doesn't usually wake up until it's real spring. Uh, and this year he's been uh, up and about already. So that is a promising sign that winter is almost over in Calgary. Now when bears are preparing to go into their winter sleep, they do something called hyperphagia. And what that means is they need to eat a lot. I relate to them. I feel like I'm doing a lot of eating a lot right now. When Skokie goes to sleep in the winter time, he weighs about 415 kilograms, which is over 900 pounds. Over the course of the winter, he'll lose about 130 pounds or about 60 kilograms. When he emerges in the spring, he weighs about 340 kilos or about 750 pounds. But as the bears are starting to wake up, those hopeful signs of spring are coming about here at the Calgary Zoo. Now for your at-home activity today, we've got a cool coloring page for you to match up animals of where they might spend their winters. I also have a question for you. Do you think bears dream? If they do, what do you think bears dream about? I want to ask you to be creative and put on your thinking cap and imagine, what does a bear dream about? Draw us a picture, write a story, or maybe if you're feeling really creative, put on a theatrical play for your family about what a bear might dream about. Thank you so much for watching today's Daily Dose and thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.